Chess Hockey Show on the Trev. It's too sweet. Anyway, continue with retired numbers and continue with Carolina. And I made the executive decision. I give myself a bit of a lighter one to work on today because the next couple I've got are pretty heavy. Heavy in terms of there's a lot of content to it, but either way. So here's the second number. I'm retired in Carolina. That belongs to number two, Glenn Wesley. Let's talk about it. So for this one, we have to time travel about three years before the hurricanes were the hurricanes. On August 26th, 1994, Wesley was acquired by the Hartford Whalers in a trade from the Bruins for three first round picks, one in 95, 96, and the 1997 NHL entry draft. So essentially, Wesley, who by this point was you know, a good 50, 60 point guy reliably, was traded for Kyle McLaren, John Aiken, and Sergei Samsonov. So one Calder winner, who, you know, has a bit more of a story in this in this story anyway. <laughs> and upon Wesley's arrival, he chose to wear the number 20, as the number 2 had already been retired since 1982, when it was retired to honor Rick Lay. If you guys want me to discuss the retired numbers from defunct teams, let me know. I'll gladly include it into the list of retired numbers I got. So in three seasons with the Whalers, Wesley would add 72 points in 184 games, but no playoff points in that equation. So in July 97, the Whalers moved to Carolina. And with the move happening, all the retired numbers that the Hartford Whalers had stayed back in Hartford and didn't move to Carolina with the team which meant Wesley could go to his more familiar number two, which he wore previously while he was with, with the Bruins. And while the first season in Carolina wasn't a smashing success, as the Hurricanes failed to make the playoffs, Wesley did add 25 points, which, while not a career high, was his best contributive offense output as a Hurricane. So there's that. The 1998-99 season saw a nice reversal of fortune for the Hurricanes, who managed to win the Southeast Division, make it to the playoffs as an automatic. And Wesley would finish this regular season with 24 points in 74 games, while adding an assist and six playoff games. So at least it's a point, whether it's a game or six games. 99-2000 saw the Hurricanes take a step back and failed to make the playoffs, with Wesley putting up 22 points in 78 games. In 2000-2001, would see Wesley play in his 1,000th NHL game while contributing 21 points in 71 games. And while the Hurricanes would make the playoffs, the result was pretty much the same as it was in 98-99. Only would ask, Wesley would add no points in six games. The 2001-2002 season saw the Hurricanes getting a lot better. So they, they would manage to make the playoffs again by winning the Southeast Division, with Wesley contributing 18 points in 77 games. And during these playoffs, the Hurricanes went on a very deep, very unexpected run, taking out the New Jersey Devils, the Montreal Canadiens, and the Toronto Maple Leafs in six games each to advance to the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time in franchise history, not just Carolina history, but also as Hartford history, so in franchise history. For Wesley, this is his third trip to the Finals, having played it in the finals in 1998, or 1988, sorry, and 1990, while he's with the Bruins. And the biggest difference here between 1, 2, and 3 is he's not playing the Oilers. <laughs> if you remember the 88 and 90 Cup Finals, it was Boston Edmonton, Wesley was a defenseman for them. Yeah. Unlike this one, though, it didn't really change much. The result was still the same. As they weren't playing the Oilers, they were playing the Detroit Red Wings, who at the time were stacked with a Hall of Fame roster, which made short work of the Hurricanes in five games. And while it was a fun run to see Carolina make it all the way to the Cup Final, win or lose, it was a great match to see. 
Unfortunately, Wesley would only add two points in 22 playoff games. The 2002-2003 season wasn't nearly as promising as the last season was. As a matter of fact, Wesley wouldn't finish the season with the team. The Hurricanes, despite making the cup final the year pre previous, were on their way to finishing dead last in the league in 2002-2003. So on March 9th, Wesley would be dealt to the Toronto Maple Leafs for a second round pick in 2004, which ended up turning into Kyle Wharton. And in the 63 games he played for Carolina, Wesley would contribute only 8 points. But the story of Wesley's career in Carolina, it doesn't end here. After a very short stint in Toronto, Wesley would return to the Hurricanes before the 2003-2004 season as a free agent. And while the Hurricanes did improve greatly during the 0304 season, they would still fail to make the playoffs for the second straight season, with Wesley contributing his lowest point production in his career, with only six points in 74 games. And then there was the big one. So what would have been the 0405 season saw so Wesley inactive instead of joining the exodus of everybody going to Europe. But they did the NHL did return for the 0506 season, and so did Wesley. And what a difference a year makes. The Hurricanes would finish first in the Southeast Division, with Wesley adding 10 points in 64 games, with the Hurricanes eliminating the Canadians the Devils, and the Buffalo Sabres on the way to the second Stanley Cup Final in four years. And I mean, what kind of Stanley Cup Final would it be for Glenn Wesley if it wasn't against the Edmonton Oilers? Because that's exactly what it was. The Oilers were the eighth seed in the Western Conference. And so for a third time in Wesley's career, he's facing the Oilers for the Stanley Cup. And in probably one of the closest Stanley Cup Finals that I can remember from the 2000s, and the only Stanley Cup final to date to feature two franchises from the former World Hockey Association, the Hurricanes would beat the Oilers in seven games to win their first Stanley Cup in franchise history, as well as the only Stanley Cup win in Glenn Wesley's career. And Wesley would put up two points in 25 playoff games for what turned out to be his last run in the playoffs in his career. For as good as 05 06 was, 0607 was the exact opposite, as it would see the Hurricanes become the first team since the 1995-96 New Jersey Devils to fail to make the playoffs the year after winning the Stanley Cup previously. And Wesley would only add 13 points in 68 games during this season. For 2007-2008, this would be a neat little full circle kind of moment in Wesley's career. Was that Calder Trophy winner I was talking about somewhere around the beginning of the video that he just traded to from Bo or traded for from Boston? Sergei Samsonov? Yeah, he ended up joining the team. Not that that really has much to pertain to anything. I thought that was just a neat little tidbit to throw in there. But that didn't really seem to help the, the Hurricane season at all as they would miss the playoffs for the second straight year with Leslie only adding 8 points in 78 games. And so after 10 seasons with the, with the Hurricanes, on June 5th, 2008, Glenn Wesley would announce his retirement from the NHL. Let's go over some stats. In 729 games with the Hurricanes, Wesley would add 35 goals, 120 assists for 155 points, plus 64 playoff games with no goals and only 6 assists. The Stanley Cup winner in 2006... And upon retiring, the only player in franchise history to play with the Hurricanes for their first 10 seasons after relocation. And on top of that, his number was retired, the second number, number two, <laughs> retired in Carolina, February 17th, 2009. As I made mention to earlier in the video, here's another little random tidbit of knowledge. Upon this number being retired... It has the distinction of being retired by the same franchise in two different cities for two different players. So, you can win that. We can win a bar bet with that. Take my word on it. 
So here's my own opinion of the guy. Now, while he wasn't the most superstars of defensemen, and while he wasn't the same Glenn Wesley that they traded the Bruins for, he was still a solid defenseman. And the fact that he managed to keep himself with Carolina for 10 seasons, you know, even after going to Toronto, he came right back. So there's dedication to the team. He's a solid shutdown defenseman in his time. And I remember watching a lot of them. Whether it was with Boston, Hartford, or Carolina. I watched a lot of Glenn Wesley. And when he needed to be, he was a shutdown defenseman. When he had the right kind of defenseman with him, plays happened. It, for Wesley, in my mind, it was a case of he didn't need to be the superstar as long as he could be the workhorse defenseman. And a lot of times, he was. Very underrated guy. And if anybody deserves a number retired, it's Glenn Wesley. And that's the number two, retired in Carolina. Another one of hockey shows. I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate the gesture. Especially if you've made it to this point. And if you have, hey, that's amazing. Let me know you're here. Hit that thumbs up. If you want to. You can join everybody else who's joined. And hit that little red button that says subscribe. We're at 158 right now. I honestly didn't think I'd be this far this quick. But I want to thank everybody who's jumped on. We're 92 away from where I'd like to be at the end of the year. No pressure. But if you could, it will make you feel good. It'll make me feel good. That's for sure. Social is in the description down below. Moving forward. For retired numbers, I'm working on a few. A couple of them are close to done, but they'll be coming up. But either way, in the meantime, and in between time, be on the look for more videos from Trev. Later.